Hey guys, it's Henry here from a Master Builder 360, and today I have another Harry Potter set review for you. This is, um, set 75956 Quidditch Match, includes 6 mini figs, 500 pieces, and took about an hour or so to build. Well, sort of. Maybe 45 minutes. Anyway, let's start with minifigs. But first, <coughs> sorry, I just woke up. The first figure is Hermione Granger. This is the same exact one that comes in the Hogwarts Great Hall. And, um, Whomping Willow. So, she's a pretty common figure. I mean, she also comes in the uh, Hogwarts Express, but, um, in a different uniform. So, anyway, she's a pretty common figure, but a nice one to get, because we that brand new, awesome hair piece. And then she's got the same Gryffindor sweater tie printing as anyone else in Gryffindor in the Great Hall set. And then she comes with, like, a sort of a tan wand, um, a really nice new hair piece, and... That is a second face. Next figure is Severus Snape, or Professor Snape, if you want to call him. He's got some nice purple um, shirt printing. R.I.P. Alan Rickman, I think his name was. <laughs> I'm so mean. And then he's got some nice black robes. Um, a black wand. He's got a really angry face. And then on the other side... He's got a suspecting one eyebrow raised face. Next figure is Harry Potter. This is like the best figure in my set. Because, well, one of them. Because he, um, of, well, the golden snitch piece. Besides that, nothing about him is exclusive, but it's nice to get. That golden snitch piece, well, it's so nice. It's got a peg in the center, like a bar, so you can fit it into a hand of a minifig. And it's uh, sort of a ball shape. It's got the wings on it, and then you can just stick it into a minifig hand. And then he comes with a broomstick, I'll guess the new is 2000. And he's got a new <coughs> hair piece that shows a scar, and on the other side... Is like when Snape's drinking his room, which we'll get to that later. Next figure is Oliver Wood. He comes with just a broomstick. He has some white light. Nothing about this guy's exclusive because this Star Wars, or this head is from Star Wars. This is a bit harder to find. I mean, I, I don't have a lot of them, but I have a couple. And then he's got the same Gryffindor Quidditch robes as Harry, some cape. You can see a back printing. And no alternate face. Next figure. So this is Lucian Bolt. Lucan Bolt. I can't really read it off the box too well. But he's a pretty nice figure. He's got the Slytherin robes. You can see. Same. Um... He's got a black room, so I'll guess on Nimbus 2001. But he's got a beater's, like, club, which is nice, because there's a bludger action. We'll get to that later. And he's got some nice spiky hair, a nice smile, and on the other face, it's a scared look. Next. And last figure is Marcus Flint. Or Team Captain Marcus Flint. He's got that, I love that smile. And you can start to see a bit of yellow teeth, I think. But, yeah, and that hairpiece, funny enough, was Ron's old hairpiece. And then he comes with a broomstick, but with a different build. Because it's got a stud on the end of it, which will shoot a bludge or not a bludger, a quaffle. And, I mean, it doesn't look bad. It just seems a bit long. But, it's a nice feature. 
and we'll get to that later. Okay. Um. Yeah, and he's got the same printing as Bolt. Um. Then I'm. He's got no alternate face onto the set. So in the set, basically, bag one. There's three bags. Bag one is. Gryffindor and Slytherin Tower. Bag two is Ravenclaw and Hufflepuff Tower. And bag three is this. Now, let me say, the towers were a bit of a repetitive build. Because, really, each one has its own different little play feature. We'll get to that later. But, each one, I mean, it's really the same. You build a checkerboard pattern... And then you build a little canopy. Which, it's not a bad build. It just gets a bit repetitive. But, for, I'd say it's worth it. Because the final product is very worth it. And nice. So, you can see it come... So, we'll start with Gryffindor Tower. Um, and you can just see it's got a little flag there. Up here is where you can sit a minifig. Um, or stand, I guess, if it's a little fig. But you can sit down a normal one. But the one thing I don't like is it's only got room for one figure. I guess if you're doing a little figure, you might be able to squeeze in two. Just one in front of the other. But, I mean, it's not that bad. Actually, eh, never mind. Um, and then down here, you can see this, which is cool. So let's say, so you, in the movies, they'll, like, fly out of it. So you can take, like, Oliver Wood and push him through and put him onto the field. Which, I'd say it's a nice feature. Um, and that's just a sticker for the Gryffindor sort of thing. Over here is Ravenclaw Tower. It's got some stickers to show, well, ravens and blue and black checkerboard. It's got a Ravenclaw flag. And this is, I'd say, the most, not, I wouldn't say it's boring, but the most plain tower. It's got a little microphone and... Nothing on my back. Okay, next we'll go to, I'd say the most interesting tower, Slytherin. So this one's inter- So, it's got the same flag as usual. Um, some arrows, a, a ghost Slytherin banner, one of the new leaf pieces. And here's a play feature. So, Snape will be sitting up here, and then there's just a little knob on the back. And then you can turn it. And I really like this. It's a tiny little fire. This is just a simple mechanism. But, you know, I like it. But that's the playability. That's what I like about building with towers. Each one has its own little different thing. Gryffindor's got that. Slytherin's got the fire. It's really not that bad. And then each one has a little backspace, which... It's okay, but... And then here is Hufflepuff Tower. I really, really like this one. So you got a point system, which I will show. So each one's got three, and they're just little disc pieces. So... And we've got them before. So then... You can keep them stored in this bin, and then whenever someone scores a point, you just add one to it. I like it. It's it's nice to have a point-keeping system. And then you've got a banner that's a Slytherin and Gryffindor. But if you want to change that, you've got two different ones in the back side. And then you can just change them out. We don't have a Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw Quidditch player for a moment, but it adds to the playability, which is nice. And then right here is the center goalpost build. 
it's got the three rings on little um clips and there's a really nice play feature here where you can put Oliver Wood Wood or any other person or player you want on a clear stand and then there's a little knob and they can move in front of them which is really nice because this set includes a lot of stuff for if you want to actually play Quidditch I mean it includes a broom that shoots a quaffle it includes this and then Speaking of that, it's got a little bludger launcher, which is a stud shooter, and it'll just fire off a little black stud, and this set includes, like, five extras, and then that just goes into a little hollow stud, and yeah, and then the set also comes with a quidditch cup, which is just a golden cup, and a chest where you can hold extra quidditch Balls to set include one more quaffle and like five extra black studs. Well, that's it for the Quidditch set. This retails for forty dollars in the USA. I re I really really like this set because it's got so much playability. It's a fun build, and what's cool is if you get another one of these sets, I believe you can combine them to make one big field which is really nice for if you had a birthday party you get two of the same sets or you get an extra one then instead of returning it you can just make a big quidditch field so i really like that the minifigures are nice thank you for watching guys leave them comments below your thoughts thank you for watching subscribe goodbye